We're officially kicking off the season. Um, I say officially because we ran at the Chili Bowl, but this is the first start to the sprint season. So we are currently in Sealand's Grove. We're staying at a hotel that's about 10 minutes away. It's uh, the racetrack's like right down there. And then our 410 shops like on the other side over there of the town. Um, so we stayed over here tonight because we have to take our midget trailer because the 410 trailer, 410 trailer is still getting done. Um, and then we have to be at the track by like 12 because it's a day show and they start at 2. So we just came down um, so we weren't rushing. I think we would have had to leave like by like 7 if we were to um, leave today from our house, which is like three hours away. So really excited. Um, we got everything prepped. So all we have to do is load and then head to the track. We're switching out the midget tires to put the sprint tires in. We have run into a little bit of an issue, which will probably set us back like... 10, 15 minutes. Um, I had mentioned back at the hotel that we're taking the midget trailer because the 410 trailer is still getting <clears throat> some finishing touches on it for this year. Um, but our midget block heater, like the end of the plug, the front, I'm not really technical with this stuff, but the end of the plug, like that would go into the block heater has four prongs with the midget but our 410 one has three. So dad's fixing everything. And we thought we fixed it last night, but I guess not. So now they're fixing that. The guys are um, changing out the midget tires and the sprint tires. And I am moving everybody's bags over. Well, maybe only one because I have the most, but they all have a backpack. One thing about me though, is like, even though we live, I'd say in like the suburbs of Philly, even though it's like Collegeville area, I still love like, the country like this. I would definitely move out here one day, but I'm going to Ohio for college, so maybe in the future. And then last night when we got fuel, I was trying to draw Mickey Mouse. You could see the one here, I didn't finish. I got like really bored and it was like really dark out, so I didn't wanna, didn't wanna get old. I don't wanna get too crazy, but I tried. We should be heading out shortly. Um, they got everything switched over. It's starting to get really sunny out. Um, there's something else. Oh, the rain has cleared out of port, so I'm just gonna finish a little bit of school that I did do on Friday, and um, we should be leaving. Yeah, we're good there, we're good there. So we ought to figure it out. Um, we thought it was like the way we wired it because we didn't rewire anything, everything, but it was just the pieces were bad, so we wasted a lot of time trying to figure all that out just for two pieces to be bad, but now we're officially leaving. We gotta go. All right, while they were loading, I um, printed out the minor release forms ahead of time. So it's just one less thing we have to do when we get there because they take a while. No, I just drew it this time. All right, so we made it to the track. I found Lindley and then I pulled 11. Did you take a picture of the lineup? No, but I know Lance pulled uh, 22nd and he was Race. Yeah. Okay, it's coming from the third heat, I think. Is that what that said? Or yeah, no. Okay. Third heat. So there's only three. Yeah, fourth and the third I know heat. Dad's in the last heat starting second because I pulled 11. Yeah. But I can't remember. I know Dylan Norris starts first. We start second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We start. Somebody starts. Some person, I think it seems Paul starts third and then it kind of goes back from there. So our yeah. heat has, I would say, like maybe three heavy hitters. But yeah. um, there's no time trials. We just line up for when we drew, so we'll see what happens. Pop up here! Hi, baby! All right, do so you know what dad just went out in? What did he went out for? Qualifying? Warm up. Pop up, warm up, safety. How do you think he did? Did he look good? ready to go out. I'm going to head up a while because my one of my best friends, my fiance, is running um, in the secondary. So I'm going to go up to watch him. Ted's getting in now and then I'll put the GoPro on after his eat. So it looks like
new. Fast company alongside him and behind him. Come on, Dad. What happened? truck because there's a lot of people in our trailer but <laughs> that eat race <laughs> so the gopro when he came in it was like bent backwards so <laughs> it got the first like lap and a half um and then you could just see the sky so um the problem is i got a new gopro out at the chili bowl i got a nine i had a seven i don't even i don't even freaking know but i look at what i have before but i know i have a, a nine now um but the mount that I use on the midget and the spring car are two different ones because the one on the midget isn't as like sturdy. <laughs> so I had to get this to fit the spring car one, which was fine, but it just wasn't stable enough. So I fixed it. Hopefully I fixed it now for the feature. Um, our heat race, I'm trying to think of a way. I, you can only do so much with the motor you have. Um, our motor is decent, but it's not as good as some of the other guys hence we got fourth um it was norris deweese sisney we were holding them off for till about like a lap six i would say deweese got by us because him and sisney were battling for a while and then um you know they eventually got by so we uh, got fourth in the third heat um which put us 12th in the feature so i mean we don't have to run into b main that's a plus he didn't look terrible i mean the car looked pretty good um the down there is really choppy it has a lot of holes i was talking to rick eckert who runs um late models and he said the exact same thing so <laughs> i'm getting a little sick out here but um yeah i kind of find it comical because this thing's giving me a hard time so i'm gonna go charge it hopefully i figured it out for the feature but i guess this is just an experiment day but you didn't really miss much just battling a little bit towards the end and go forth. Here's my crew. Wave. Wave the great <laughs> All right, as I mentioned, like, you know, it's a day race, so everything's just gonna keep running and running. Um, I didn't check, but we got fourth in the third, so I assume we start talking with the Ted's up. I have the uh, AB line up, by the way. Let me see. Dad's gonna get ready to get in. I didn't talk, well I did talk a lot in the morning. He's 12. Do I talk a lot in general? Yes. So I'll give you the rundown of the top 12. We have Dylan Sisney, Jeff Halligan, Jason Schultz, Lance Deweese, Danny Dietrich, Parker, Dylan Norris, Macquarie, Borden, Bishop, Wagner, us. <laughs> I have to read. And, and then we have Freddie, uh, Whittle, Reinhardt, uh, McIntyre, Smith, and Troy Wagman Jr. I always like, forget that you're watching you're not gonna know all of our people because most of them are from the midwest you watch that i have to read the whole entire name not just the last name yeah yeah parker <laughs> parker rice miller <laughs> all right so dad's getting in now i'm gonna put the gopro in and then i think i'm gonna head into infield you ready dad are you ready my voice i can't hear anything i also forgot to say um i talked to dad Honestly, right before the heat race, I didn't get time to talk to him after because, again, everything's moving so quickly. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the track's super, super slick. So we'll see. Hopefully, it's a little bit better. Hopefully, I got this figured out. And uh, if not, you're going to have to bear with me. Yeah. All right, I put her on, so we'll see what happens. I hope it works. Are we actually late? Alright, we're going out now. They're starting.
jerk it back over and then guys, you know, they're... All right, um, I guess as you would see by now, we did end up pulling off. Um, I'm gonna have Dad explain, just didn't feel the greatest. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's very, 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 very frustrating because towards the end of last year, we weren't doing too hot. So then, you know, you kind of regroup a little bit and change some things around and it's still not working, but I have faith and trust in him that we will get it uh, working and running better. So definitely a learning day. Um, track kept changing every single race, which doesn't always help. But again, it's a day show um, overall. Eh, it was so-so, not terrible, not great, but um, we're gonna load up here shortly. Late models are out, and then we are gonna head to eat. All right, did you have fun at your first race back? Yeah, and it's my first race without my lip. Oh yeah, Mason got surgery on his lip. He got his um, little birthmark removed. I have a lot. And we're gonna go to the front street, Don. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then this is everybody's favorite, my pop-pop. Wave pop-pop. <laughs> a little team meeting. Oh, the kids. Hey, you gotta go like this. <laughs> I fell asleep in the car, so we're doing it now. How did you feel overall, Dad? I felt really bad. Really bad. Um. The track was like super slick, uh, and basically the whole track except for one or two that was like rutted up, like it started to peel up. Yeah. So uh, we tighten up for the feature, try to get through the uh, through, through three and four, but down in one and two, it's like I was up on two wheels. So I just like ran a few laps and pulled off. Yep. And then next week we run Port supposedly with the Outlaws. I won't be there, and then we run Williams Grove on Sunday. All right, it is now Monday. We raced yesterday. I thought I'd ended it after we went into the diner to eat, but I guess not. Um, and then I was waiting till after school today because I wanted to do it with Mason, but he got home from school and he's been a little bit silly because, you know, typical nine-year-old boys, they're a little hyper, a little, they have to add all their extra stuff. But um, last night wasn't the greatest, or I guess yesterday because it wasn't, um, a, it wasn't a night race, but uh, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't the greatest. Uh, Dad picked me up today from school, and he had mentioned, probably should have listened a little bit more, but he had mentioned something with brakes that they switched to a softer version. I, I'm probably saying it wrong. I, I wasn't really paying attention to him. <laughs> but um, and that he thinks that kind of hurt him a little bit. Uh, the initial start really did hurt us, too. From my angle, it originally looked like, he hit that one rut we were talking about, but he said he just hit a slick spot. Um, I want to say by the time that happened, he fell back to like, I want to say he fell back to like 16th or 15th. So he lost a good amount of positions, but uh, um, yeah, it is what it is. It was the first race. This season is very, 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 very young. Have a lot more to go. I think he said he has about like uh, 90 something races. So that's a lot. I'm sure he'll add more. But uh, yeah, it's officially race season. Next race for us will be the Outlaws at Port. I will not be going. So the next video will definitely be at Williams Grove on Sunday. So thank you for watching and make sure to come back next Sunday.